This is a video by Richmond. Today we're working on a Chrysler PT Cruiser. This happens to be a 2002 model. And, oh wow, this is a Woody Wagon one. How nice. What we're doing today is we are removing the window regulator and motor. First thing we need to do is to remove the door panel. Right here on the door pull area, there are two T30 bolts that we need to remove. Underneath here we'll find a Phillips head screw. One there, one there, one up here, and one right there. So we need to remove those now. Now after we remove those bolts we want to take this filler panel out of the way. Okay, she's out. Okay, all our screws are out. Let's take our panel remover, see if we can pop any clips that might be holding. Oh yeah, they're there. Oh boy. All right, now let's lift up on it. We got a door pull and some electrical connectors back there. We got to remove. Okay, here's the door pull. Push that retainer down. Remove that. Now we have our electrical connector over here. Okay, that should do it. Yes, it did. Okay, panel's all off. So now the next thing we gotta do is get this bracket out of the way. There's a 10 millimeter here and a 10 right there. Now once we get that bracket out of there, we should be able to peel back our Weather barrier. Wow, sure helps when the sun's on it. Makes that glue soften up. Somebody mentioned that to me. Use some heat on this. Loosen that glue. Okay. So we're going to do that now. Now this speaker is on top of the weather barrier. You can use a Phillips screw. Driver to get these out. Okay. Now let's get this electrical connector off the top right here. Ah, one of these funky lock ones, hey? Eh? That's for the motor. Alright, now we can get our weather barrier off. Okay, the next thing we need to do is get the window down so we can loosen the two 10 millimeter bolts that secure the glass to the regulator. Now put your connection back from the motor in where you took it out and use your switch to move the motor down. Now if you cannot get the motor down because it's no good, come in here, cut that cable, that will release it, then you can bring the window down. Now, we're going to see if we can get our motor down, our window down, our motor down, our window down. There we go. And if I come over here, you'll be able to see the two 10 millimeter bolts. See them right there? All we have to do is loosen those. And then we can pull the glass up. Okay, our window is all loose, so now we can 
pull up on it. I've got a rubber door stop here. And right there, and that will hold the window in the up position. Next thing we gotta do is to remove our regulator and motor nuts. One down here. One here. And they hide one right in here. Need to remove that. So that's three on the regulator. And if we come over here to the motor, one, two, three, four. And so we need to remove those now. Okay, all our nuts are removed. Let's get this regulator free. Our motor. One thing I mentioned, should mention, is you should wear gloves on a job like this because you can find sharp edges. How well I know. Get the electrical connector there. Oh, look at that. Jeez, they give us so much room. It's really nice. Look at that. Come on, let go. No name on that motor? Wow. Who knows what it is? Look at this plastic. And the housing. Jeez. That's a cheap one. Look at that. That is a cheap looking motor right there. But she came out nice. That's all that's important. So that's all there is to removing a window regulator and motor from your Chrysler PT Cruiser.